stay positive. Stay positive, we'll win. Shard is OP, other reason. Um, and you're against a troll. So those axes for mischance are dispellable. Yeah. Slark's gonna be spamming Q. It's also incredible against the Treant. Hero, all all of the spells of T1 are removable. It used to be Storm was incredible against Slark, but now the pounce that leashes actually makes you more of an offensive threat to the hero. Yeah, so you touched on the purge effect or the cleanse effect. Sure. Um, <laughs> I, supposedly I'm wrong, but I always think like it's a dispel. Kyle, you are never wrong. I mean, cl it's cleanse is it, cleanse isn't an actual term in Dota. It, it just happens to be a nice term okay. that I find. You're but. never wrong, Kyle. Thank you. Yeah. Anyway, Slark is weak to getting initiated on, right? Gold, 81% win rate. You got to figure T1 gonna outscale. Yeah, I mean, I think the they've weathered the storm. 
the OG needs to take control and take control early. And there's still absolutely hope, but they gotta play these fights now. 23 Savage oh. was very far forward, and OG looked to be able to potentially punish him. Not gonna be able to get the immediate duel. The swap from Sox is still stolen and still managed to get out no tail. So pounds forward, Samael does manage to get on top of the support, so there is gonna be White Mon down. An important member of T1 to be able to stay alive for this team fight. The swap back in, but they managed to get the duel. 23 Savage gets the duel off. Samael keeping him inside of the Wukong's command, where he will die there. OG finally managed to win a team fight, a big one at that where they get three, and Carl thought maybe they could turn around on a Seb, but Seb does have some mail right behind him, so even if they do manage to kill this Monkey King, they may be losing both of uh, Able to continue chasing the T1 heroes down once they spawn. He's got 196 extra agility. So you can't click the Monkey King, don't click <laughs> me, <Chad>. Ben. <laughs> <laughs> this is very unfortunate because that was a stolen Venge stun, and I think Carl might be in front of him as well. Yeah, they're going to be able to catch both of them. They do manage to finish off Seb. Anything, but they really need the Venge to be present when they take the fight. Here's Samael, he still has got some stats going, and he's not slowing down whatsoever. These pounces are staying on top of these supports. They cannot seem to get away. Swap back in, no tail. Now he's in an awkward position. They're gonna jump on a 23 Savage, turns around, bops a BKB before the stun can come in for the Monkey King, but again, he's gonna retreat with that BKB. No, he's not, he's gonna finish up Samael. Turns around real quick, blows him up, does manage to get the swap back in, and 23 Savage heals up just a little bit. Can he finish off Seb before and stay alive? He does, Thompson's gonna come in. Trying to finish off 23 Savage, does get that one. With the BKB, might be able to get two here. Zephyr, just one slide away from dying, actually does die to Soxa. Trying to start backing away. Thompson's looking for some of these heroes. Samael pounces forward. He's going to go for White Mon here. Starts stealing some of those stacks. Tries to sink on top of him and should be able to get that kill. The right hand side, Thompson does catch the other support at the same time. That's going to be set for at the same time. Samael has to be careful here, especially with the Cuckoo. His spirit is going to get burned down, but he could buy back if he wants to and rejoin this fight as a full out hero. No longer the case. No longer an option. T1. And the second you stop, that's what happens. Oh, we got it. Does manage to get the pounds. The team is coming in, but it's too late. Carl's already dead. Double damage of some mail made short work of Carl and OG. They could just keep going. You certainly are going to be looking for somebody here. Zephyr not spotted it. See, Carl has buyback though. Would not be surprised to see him use. Yeah, considering how aggressively T1 is positioned, even though they're missing their mid laner, Seb, Seb he sees this. He's spotted some heroes right now. Swap back into the ice path. That's a good hold, but he did not manage to get it in. Snare out the troll, did not get lucky, and Cuckoo will die for what he thought was going to be an Ember Spirit kill. Bounce through the spear, doesn't actually latch on top of him. And that is going to be more info. And then make it play based off that. Oh, grabs the double damage and managed to get the pounce and it's going to force out the swap from Cuckoo and probably get him killed as he's pulled back in by the telekinesis. His spirit will manage to get out at least. Yeah. No but, buyback though. Yeah. However, yeah, who cares, right? You still... Keeping the vision inside. Samael's double damage is going to wear out. Storm's going to start TPing on to the outpost. Thompson is in. Thompson's going straight up for those supports. Samael, not sure where he's going to, but 23 Savage is a little bit isolated here. Cuckoo's trying to keep pace to make sure he can swap back 23 Savage to get him away from Samael, while Seb is scaring back the rest of these heroes. Thompson's going to be able to finish off Zephyr. That's going to be first. 23 Savage looks at Seb. Carl commits with the Aghanim Scepter, pulling them both in. But inside of that Monkey King ultimate, they don't feel great. Again, the stolen swaps coming out from Soxa is going to be able to keep his cores feeling good and feeling aggressive as Telekinesis is tossed back, chained up together, toss, duel, going out, no tail, they turn around quickly, kill him, winner, and Carl gets away before Samael can hunt him down, but Samael doesn't kill, he's gonna be able to go for the supports and may still be able to catch Carl, Carl, no mana, Samael pounce on top of him, they catch him, four dead on the side of Fourth, spamming chains. Here we go. Cuckoo did still manage to get the swap, but uh, 23 Savage can't hit him right now. Samael, his ultimate was used, still on the damage round. They're going to turn around and start doing some damage with a pull in on the Carl. They do do something to Samael, but he's going to be hopping his BKB. 23 Savage responds in kind here. He's going to fall. Spirit 
platform now. They do manage to get the nice lockdown. Macro Pyre going out. The Ice Path could actually lock down. Chops of Refresher. BKB still potentially up. Chase for Carl doesn't actually quite get him. Meanwhile, 23 Savage is just getting kited around and ripped apart by the rest of OG. Now with no carry, T1. They're very likely going to be dying here unless Carl could do something magical by himself, but he just doesn't have it in him. Doesn't have.